Hello, hello. It's uh Thursday. No, no, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday and I actually funny story. I, I didn't plan to record this video today, but someone complimented <laughs> complimented me. And I was like, oh that color looks great on you. I was like, does it? Does it look great? This is a sign too. Record a video and just look good, right? I found the color. <laughs> it's always nice when you find colors that look nice on you. Just continue using them. Anyway. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's Wednesday. So, welcome to the channel where it's all about awesomeness and awesome living. Oh, we could also say welcome to the channel where it's all about living the good life, however you live it, whatever you do, make sure that it's good. Anyway, so as promised in the previous video, I said I'd be talking about the visa process. I have a number of people who have reached out to me and asked me about the process or my visa, how I got it, what I went through. Um, yeah, and many people ask me. Was it easy for me because they are having a hard time? Honestly, I think the first thing I'll say is nothing is easy on this app. Nothing is easy, but we keep pushing. Um, but what I would say is I really, really, um, what I did is I used, I watched many people's videos. First of all, like everyone, I look at people who are traveling to Poland and whatever they said, I listened. And I also talked to people who I knew who were here and the biggest thing that they told me was to be prepared like preparation is your friend even even if you have to have copies of everything of every email of everything do not rely on a soft copy that that's one mistake that i made i think i even talked about it that i i had to i had to like correspond an email with the embassy but I did not have the printout of that email, so it ended up being being strange because they asked me for the email and I was like, "What? Can you can you look down look down on my phone?" They're like, "No, we need a printout." So I was I, I think it was just God's grace that I found someone kind and they said, "Okay, go print and then you can come back." Otherwise, yeah, people would be sent away. And I actually saw people being sent uh, people being sent away because they were not prepared. So, and that takes me to the whole getting a date. Hmm? Everyone is like, I'm failing to get a date, I'm failing to get a date. But the date is about planning and you always have to like go online because it's like you get a date like three months in advance. People, I, I don't know, people who get dates a month in advance, they probably have like better luck than I did but for me it was all about just planning in advance and get the month the debt about three months in advance so you should all one thing that someone like was talking about said that you shouldn't wait for the admission to arrive for you to start looking for a debt let me tell you for me as soon as as soon as the school gave me like a provisional <laughs> provisional um soft copy of an admission I was just like, let me start, let me start this process because. So yeah, it's um start the process early. It's all about starting the process early and planning, planning to that T because planning is your friend. Let me fix this lighting. I think this is much better. Yes, tack, tack, tack. So we're talking about planning. Planning is your friend. You have to plan every move. I would advise that you get a journal and write everything down. Every piece of advice that you get, write down. Every thought that you have, write down. Um, the whole thing of legalizing documents. Make sure your documents are legalized before you come. Because getting documents legalized from here is a tough process. So once you get your admission, get into legalizing your documents. I know for some of us... Um, the system is different and sometimes they, you have to like move through back channels but that's a system we're given but i was fortunate enough to have studied in kenya and the system is a little bit more streamlined and uh, so it was a bit easier for me to 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 legalize my documents so when you legalize your document have, have your legalized documents have your original documents get the debt when get your insurance book a have like a, a, a flight itinerary um and wait for your 
hard copy admission to come. So all those things should be done once you get the provisional. So you have to have like, you have to be a meticulous planner. When, once you get the provisional admission, start planning to get the, the hard copy admission to where you are. You have to use DHL, it's costly, but you know, that's, 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 what, that's what we go through. Yeah, it's costly, but that's, that, the Polish embassy needs hard copy. So you have to get those. But I think the biggest thing for me is get the dates as soon as you get a provisional, a provisional admission. Yes. If, that's, if the universe is not giving you any issues about anything, get your debt. Even before you pay fees. Actually, me, I got a debt before I paid fees. <laughs> I got a debt before the fees was paid because for me, it was mostly a faith venture. I, did, I wasn't sure of anything. It was just me putting one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, praying at every step because it's not easy. This process is not like something that is going to to that you're just going to pass through you will definitely grow from it and if you don't grow from this process i have questions for you yeah so the biggest thing for the polish embassy is follow instructions they give you a list of everything that you must have please have it and have like three copies of everything you're going to spend money on printing you're going to spend money i spent money on printing i spent money on scanning i scanned things hmm? There's, there's that paper that you have actually there's that code that that they that you have to print out now for me i'm so like i thank god that i printed three copies of that code because the first copy they, sc they scanned it it wasn't working second copy scanned it wasn't working then i remember i had a third copy outside in my in my file so i told the lady i have another copy outside can i go and get it should i go and get it they, they scanned that one and it's the one which worked so have like multiple copies of everything. Insurance is very important. Make sure it's from like a reputable insurance. I used UAP called Mutual. Use something reputable, something that isn't going to be questioned. Something that like everyone knows, like it's a very good company. So I use old Mutual. I'm not a better if anyone is telling you what I used. Yes, so um, about the Sponsor, you have to have a sponsor, you have to have someone who has a stable income, who can stand in the gap for you and say that they're going to sponsor you. Yeah. So that the thing is that person that person's income has to be stable and they have to also I don't know if it's a must, but it would be good if they could like show that they like are gainfully employed or have like a business that is bringing money in. So they just want to see the flow of income in and out this is an active account so if that if these things are saying i'm just putting a sum of money in the account just that day i don't know i don't think anyway so big takeaway from this is preparedness 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 always be prepared print your things like have a thousand copies not a thousand have at least three copies of everything and um, don't be nervous just pray be prepared and get ready to grow from this process because it will definitely grow a lot of patience is required i also had there's someone who told me that she was having trouble getting a date i remember i also went through that i had trouble getting a date but for me i okay i didn't have to i got a date and, I, and then i sat and then when i finally got my admission the date the admission the school was starting at uh, school was starting a different day and this visa was after school I started so I was I had to write to them I had to send them an email and explain my situation I have a date then I have an admission so they're like oh okay you you um actually had to show up I had to show up just and explain to the scurries and they, they were really kind to me and they told me to so I had to wait for everyone who was be waiting for their visas and then they saw me and they were like just send an email to that email so i got the email address i sent the email they replied thank, thank, thankfully to god they replied and they told me to just show up on a day when they were handling other people who were going for the winter semester so i ended up being added to the list of students because i explained myself but i had a date i had a date the thing is you have to have like you don't just say I'm a student and I, 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 I want 
I want a, a date. Then, they ask, then they, that's when they'll tell you, go and apply to the system. There's a process for this. But the fact that I had, I got my, I got an appointment, but my appointment was clashing with the beginning of the semester. And I just thank God that I found someone who was understanding and they said, okay, it's all right. Just come on this day. I was sorted. I had no issues, thankfully to God. I picked my, when I, I, I left my passport there, I picked my passport like two weeks later, a week later. Actually, it didn't take long. They, they contacted me and said, come back with my passport. I happened to be in Nairobi at that time. I happened to be in Uganda. I just had to come and go back for it. Yes, I happened to be in Uganda. I had to go back. You know, all these things I was doing, like, I don't know how to say. I was like, step by step, really, because even being a planner is not enough because you have to be a planner who has faith. You just be like, you know what, I'm doing this and I've done my best. So I I was just doing a step by step thing. It wasn't easy, it wasn't easy, but it happened and that's just the beginning, honestly, because <clears throat> once you get the visa then you come and then it's it's a whole growing process and it's something that I wouldn't have any other way because I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, and I thank God for this opportunity. So I hope this video has helped. The big takeaway for me is plan, plan, and plan, and plan. Yes, plan everything, write every. What helped me was writing everything down. I know how trivial it sounds, but you know, my mom was always telling me, write a checklist. I'll be like, oh, but this time I write a checklist because checklist is important. Listen to your mommies. <laughs> yeah so i wrote a checklist and it really helped me so have your checklist in place and um be persistent persistence definitely helps don't give up surround yourself with people who push you and um, encourage you to keep going because this thing is not easy yeah those are my two cents about this whole process i hope this answers your questions it's just generally preparedness and just me encouraging you even if it's hard don't give up because i've seen stories on youtube where people have tried like three times like four times and they just keep trying just keep trying so don't give up it's just something that you have to keep trying and keep trying and even when you fail you continue trying because that is the only way in this life thank you so much for watching this video i hope it has helped you i hope i've been really been of help please i am open to answer any questions that you may have you can reach out to me on facebook reach out to me via email or even drop a comment i will answer thank you very much for watching this video expect more content from me it is on its way i'm sorry about the delay but yeah you know, life happens but we keep moving with soldier on here's the soldiering on see you guys in the next video bye